I wear this a few times a day. Basically, you put it on, and then I tighten it in the back, and then you go here and then you pump it to expand it a little bit. So, there's the pump. Why are you guys laughing? You look like one of those dogs that have a cone, that has a cone around it. Basically, there's a muscle that runs through the back of your neck and it goes down this way, but uh, it's a muscle strain. It's pressing on my nerve. So basically what happened is uh, the last few streams, like it kind of just started getting worse. There was like a two week period of time where I was like traveling like crazy. I was doing like eight, nine, 10 hour IRLs. Thanks Dream, I appreciate it, man. I was like walking around with like, like a cinema camera. You know, you got the heavy backpack on, this stuff, whatever. I'm traveling a bunch, I'm doing long streams, sitting at the desk for a lot of hours. My neck was hurting and I thought it wasn't anything. I thought it was just sore. I was like, okay, whatever, it'll get better but it just kind of kept getting worse. That's whenever I went to the doctor eventually, but you could even see it in the last couple of streams. You guys remember I went on Nick and Milana's stream? That was like in the first couple of days, I think, that it started hurting really bad and I started having shoulder pain. I was miserable on that stream, like physically. I had a lot of fun, I always have fun. I ended up in the emergency room one of the days. Like I, I woke up in so much pain one of the days that I was like, but I'm telling you, getting an appointment with a doctor, like it actually blows my mind how long it takes. It'll be like, okay, we can, we can see you in two weeks. And I'm like, dude, what? Like, I'm in so much pain one of the days that I'm like, I just, I'm going to the emergency room. I know they can't do anything for me. They'll just give me some medicine, but I, I just have to go to the emergency room. The doctor told me that I need to take like a week off. He said, you know, if, you, if you're working like a desk job, you're sitting at a desk a lot, or you're, or you're being real active, you, you really need to take it easy for this next week. I took a week off and then uh, it was still hurting really bad. I mean, I haven't streamed in like almost two weeks. I also had like a lot of work that I was doing uh, and I want to go over that today. I gotta tell you this, I go to the doctor. You got the muscle strain, you have a, you have a pinched nerve, that's what's causing this pain to go down here. He explains it to me and I'm like, okay, well like, here's what happened, nothing. Nothing happened to me to where this, this pain started occurring. So what do I do to prevent it? Is there anything I can do to like keep this from happening going forward once it gets better? The doctor literally tells me, he's like, well, you're 30 now. Those are the words that came out of his mouth. He literally goes, well, you know, you're 30 now. And I'm like, are you kidding me? Like, he's just like, yeah, this is just kind of it. Like, this is just kind of, this is just kind of what happens. And I'm like, <laughs> like, what? <laughs> like, what the hell? I waited two weeks for an appointment for this. There's physical therapy and stuff like this. You just have to, you have to keep up with these exercises and stuff just to, to make sure like your, your, if your body is like not cooperating with you, like you stay strong. And it's just like, this is just it, like you're 30. I wanna go ahead and, and I wanna just do like an announcement dump of everything happening, okay? So everybody get your pogs ready. I'm still going, I'm still going to the Creator Clash. With the Creator Clash, we have the Creator Clash 2 pre-show and weigh-ins. That's gonna happen tomorrow in Florida. That's gonna happen on my stream. So that's one. I'm gonna try and film a vlog and uh, Finn is not gonna be there, but uh, who is gonna be there is Wake. So Wake's gonna be the cameraman for me filming a vlog behind the scenes. So Pog, uh, so we'll do behind the scenes of the Creator Clash. Wake won't be the only person there. I'm gonna take the whole house to, uh, to the Creator Clash, except for Jay and Finn because Jay and Finn are out of town. So Wake will be there, Grayson will be there, Bonnie will be there. IRL streams is what that means. I would like to do an IRL stream on Wake's channel. I would like to do an IRL stream on Grayson's channel. I would like to do an IRL stream on Bonnie's channel. I know Seer is also going, so maybe Seer is gonna hang out with us. So yeah, basically I was like, you know what? We're gonna go to Creator Clash and I'll, I'll, I'll get everybody's flights, I'll pay for everybody's flights and all that. Great, and it's, it's, it's on the table if you guys wanna go. We'll post on Twitter when we're live. So 3 p.m. Central Time, pre-show and weigh-ins for Creator Clash 2 is happening on this stream, on this channel. The next thing, I have a sponsor with HelloFresh. So Cooking Stream, Cooking Stream sponsor is gonna happen next Wednesday. These are all the things, all the streams that I have planned so far. So I don't know, I might come back and I might not stream again until Wednesday, but whenever I come back on Wednesday, we will do a cooking stream. So Chef S Band returns. Um, hey, Mrs. Diffidel, I saw your message earlier, but I, I responded to it in, in thing, in uh, sentence, in concession, or whatever, succession. Um, anyway, cooking stream with HelloFresh sponsor. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna be doing that uh, on Wednesday. So next Wednesday, normal stream time. We're gonna do a PC building stream at Micro Center. So I got a sponsor with Micro Center to go build a PC there. So that's gonna be cool. And I wanted to wait until we had like a big announcement, like a, maybe like a little teaser video and stuff for this. But I said, you know what? We're just gonna go ahead and throw it in there. The NFL draft show is happening, okay? 
S Fans Draft Night Extravaganza at We Play Studio for the first night of the NFL Draft. Big, big, big show, okay? That's something I've been working on on my own. Uh, it's going to feature Will Neff and E Rob as hosts. And then uh, we also might have an NFL player joining us uh, the whole time on the couch. We might have an NFL player with us too. I have some more things to come with that some specifics, but all I'm gonna talk about right now is that it is happening. We're gonna be live at 6 p.m. Central Time, Thursday, April 27th, and it's probably gonna go for about four to five hours. I'm working on like a, a mock draft situation where you guys can make a mock draft, you guys can submit a mock draft, and uh, the, the best mock draft, the most accurate one, is going to win a Starforge PC, and it'll be for the first round, mock draft for the first round. Everything's gonna be only focused on the first round this year, and we'll see how it goes. Um, <clears throat> well, kind of. Kind of everything's going to be first, focused on the first round. Because we're also going to be doing a pre-show where uh, we're going to go over the draft. We're, I'm going to do a mock draft on stream. So Sunday, the Sunday before at noon central time, football Sunday, uh, I'll do a mock draft on stream. We're going to talk about where we think people are going to go. We're going to talk about a bunch of the players. So Pog, we're going to do a stream for that on Sunday, the Sunday before. And we will do a post-draft show back home again. These are a little bit more low key, but we're, we're gonna cover the NFL draft stuff. So Sunday, Thursday is the big show. And then the following Sunday will be a post show where we'll go through and I wanna grade all the team's drafts. Like there's a lot of people that watch football, but they don't really watch the draft. For us, if we're doing a draft show, if we're doing a show about draft coverage on Twitch, this needs to be a Twitch show. This needs to be a Twitch show. It needs to be fun. And it needs to, the barrier of entry needs to get dropped down a little bit lower. So, here's what I was thinking. If we do it live at WePlay, make it like a hangout. Make it a kickback. I wanna, I wanna make it something where it's almost like you're watching a podcast. You remember my TwitchCon, my Twitch partner party stream? Okay, so you guys, you guys remember this stream that I did at TwitchCon? Basically, I wanted to take this idea with a draft and this needs to be something fun, right? This needs to be something fun and, and, uh, make it almost more of a podcast while the draft is going on, like a show where we're just hanging out. It's not even a podcast, it's a hangout. So so I wanna bring people on as, as guests using Guest Star. It's like a drive, yeah, like a drive-through podcast, revolving door. We'll have people on Guest Star. I wanna have people join in on Guest Star during the draft, uh, like NFL players. I've been talking to a number of NFL players who, who wanna come on as guests remote. Some NFL guests, are going, or sorry, some NFL players are gonna come on in person maybe. Will and E-Rob are gonna co-host it with me. April 29th, so two days after the draft, one day before the draft post show, at 2 p.m. Central Time, that's the current time, that might change, but currently it's 2 p.m. The OTK Charity Liftathon. The OTK Charity Liftathon is finally gonna happen. I'm very excited about it. Now, something that kind of sucks is I've been injured for the last couple of months. So I, I was hoping that when the liftathon rolled around, I was gonna be like, I'm like in it and I'm like freaking doo, doo, doo. So unfortunately, I'm not gonna be able to lift that much. But the idea behind the charity liftathon, every dollar that's donated is gonna be one pound of lift. If somebody donates a thousand pounds, that means we are gonna take a hundred pounds on bench press and do it 10 times, for example. And the idea is, is this is gonna go on for some hours. It's gonna be big. It's gonna be. It's gonna be great. Uh, you can spot Mizkiff. Yeah, maybe I'll spot Mizkiff. But I want to have everybody involved. I think it's gonna be super fun. Um, well, maybe not too many people involved, but I want to have the, the right people involved. And uh, I think it's gonna be big time. A huge charity event we're gonna do on my stream. Uh, if this goes well, I'm gonna be honest with you. This is the kind of thing that I think I want to do every year. Next announcement. Okay. Also. So I already have three more things that are on the table for May. There's three more events coming in May that uh, are not 100% yet. So I don't really want to talk about them, but they're going to be like IRL sports or like esports related and like IRL streams. Oh, see, whenever I do this, I feel pain right here. Like I said, I'm halfway back, but I'm not 100% healthy. I'm getting the itch a little bit to do like a hardcore classic run and I might do it. Like I said, I haven't streamed WoW in a long time, so if I do it, I'll never play WoW the way that I used to play WoW again. I'm really gonna stream WoW, not really play, because I, I have nothing that I really want to accomplish. In game, the thing that I want to accomplish is I want to entertain people. 
and I want to I want to have people have a good time, and I want people to have like a to, to have a community they can go to, and, and they can have a stream they can enjoy, and uh, that's that's really it. That's really what it comes down. To. Cornwood coming back every once in a while. That's another thing. I do want to bring back GTRP, but I've said that for a while. I don't have a date on it or when. Uh, it's probably gonna be hard with this neck deal to come back, but I do want to bring back GTRP, and I just don't know when. I'll, I'll let you know when. So yeah, we are gonna have a loaded summer of content. Tons of games, tons of really good big streams and uh it's just gonna take some time for me to heal up and rest up and, and make sure that i'm 100 percent for it